So now let's jump into another magic segment for our fellow close-up entertainer. This one will be, I believe it is, um, the Dr. Daly's Blackjack 2.0 with new ideas to love. It's a new way to present, I think I solved the problem in the, in the original, or the second version. This is, let's just go with it. <laughs> so what we're gonna use is, we're gonna use the, I mean, I wouldn't mention the title out loud to the spectator, but we're gonna do this as we go along. We use the four aces, so we got the ace of diamonds, usually referred to as women's best friend. As, as I love to say, I still don't know why. Uh, there's the ace of, oh, what was it? Ace of hearts, there we go. Um, and then there's the spades, and then the ace of clubs. So we got all four right there. Yay! Yay. Okay, so we got these aces, and I want, and I'll mix them up like so. Not necessary, but makes it fun. So I'm gonna make it a, I say the spectator. The spectator would be, you know, just imaginary right there. And I would say to them, this will be a little test of focus. This will be a little test of focus to be able to improve awareness so you don't get cheated. Oh, okay, we go, okay. So we'll start off with the first one. This is the Ace of Spades, the classic. They call it the bull hole card. We can go into whole stories on this, but we'll just say Ace of Spades. Cool, Leo? Yay. We'll set that one right there. The second one is the Ace of Clubs, uh, clubby spot card, and that will be right here. So this is a test of awareness. So what was the lower card? They think for a second, they say Ace of Spades. The upper one is the Ace of Clubs. And they go, yeah, good. Good job, you've been following along. And you go, you are correct. The ace of clubs is the top one. The ace of spades is the bottom one. Then they start freaking out, and then they go, oh my gosh. <laughs> Which is great. And then, yay, over, the effect is over. Normal. But I'm like, okay. Uh, let's, let's make it a little bit more interesting. So, then I ask them, do you have a preference for red or black aces? And they can name either in this... Uh, Okay, so let's say they say they have a preference for the red aces. So let's go with it. So we got the ace of diamonds, we got the ace of hearts, and then we got the ace of uh, clubs, and we got the ace of spades, okay? Let me set those aside. We can even put this away in our pocket, but I'll just clear more here for context. And we're gonna go right into this. So one, two, three, four cards, and only four cards. So like before, are you ready to focus? They go, yeah. And I say, okay, first card. And I don't want to name what it is. Just want you to pay, make sure you're paying attention, okay? But I guess for the context of this camera, we'll just say Ace of Hearts, okay? Second one, Ace of Diamonds. But I don't mention which one's on top. So in this case, they say, okay, top one, they go, Ace of Diamonds. Lower one, Ace of Hearts. And they go, yeah, you are correct again. Ace of Diamonds right here, Ace of Hearts over here. But you expected that. And I know, you already passed. But you know what's crazy? playing blackjack with magician. You wanna know why? Because the win uh, every single time. Well, in my case, I actually took out three cards, but generally you get that. Normally it uh, works correctly. And in the case it doesn't, this is me outing. <laughs> you can just get the card, and you can give it a shake, and you get that jack of spades every single time. There you go. Ta-da. And that is how you out out of uh, a mistake, wonderfully. But in all seriousness, uh, this is the Dr. Daly's Blackjack 2.0. And the main thing was to cover the new ideas with it, which makes it quite wonderful. Without the last mistake, don't hate, hate on me later, we can go into it. So with this, let's go into it. So we have the deck shuffled, it could be a borrowed deck, doesn't matter. It really is shuffled, there's no prerequisite to it. I mean, the only setup, if you want to, is to put the jacks on top. If you don't, it's not necessary. If you know how to cull, you don't even need any setup. So I can just have it shuffled, whatever, and say, I'm going, okay, I want to see a trick. All right, we'll do something special. Now that I think about it, this should have been the trick I should have done for the guest the other day at Kelly's. This should have been it. This one? This one. This would have destroyed, this would have knocked their socks off. So, uh, in this case, if the jacks appear first, you can cull them. If they're too far on top, you can just cut the pack and you're good. Okay? So we go across, see like, uh, we're, we're going for the blackjacks. So, 
for the context of this trick. So I go across, go across, ace of spades. We're gonna use the aces you mentioned. So ace of spades, ace of clubs. And so I'm calling the jacks, putting the aces, raising up the aces. So ace of diamonds, and I call a jack. I don't make a big deal about it, I just call it. So I got the jack, I'm flashing right here, so you got it. Okay, and then call another jack as I raise up the ace. Okay, and then you let the jack slide to the back, so now they're at the top. As we and we'll come back to those later, as we fo put all our focus into the aces. So don't put any focus here. Put all the focus here. So we show four aces. Now this is optional. However, you want to get a double. You know, you can you know, just riffle get it. What one thing I like when I'm nervous is I just uh, peel them off one time. One, two, three, four. Oh, what? One thing that I make sure is also it's important is to make sure they're color coordinated. So black, red, black, red, or red, black, red, black. You'll become obvious in a second. So one, two, peel off two, peel off the third one, get a break underneath it, and then drop the last one top. So now you got a break on double. Okay. Then you say this will, and so now you got break on double, four finger covering the obviousness of it. So there we go. And you just relax and you say, I want to make this a test on focus so you don't get cheated at the casinos. And it's being through being aware, like the pit bosses, that we can create a more aware experience so you can be more aware of what's going on, on the table. So in this case, this will be a little exercise. We turn up the double, show an ace of spades, cool. Then deal it to the table. And you go, okay. Um, and then the second one. And just so I even remind them, ace of spades. And then Ace of Clubs is the second one. And then we deal it down, and right there. And then I said, this is a focus exercise, so what was the lower one? Maybe they maybe have to think about it for a second, you go, if they need a hit, Ace of Spades. And if, if they need help so far with that, they've probably been, you know, you know. Uh, so we got the Ace of Spades lower one, the Ace of Clubs is the upper one. And they go, yes, you are correct. You pause. They go, okay, passed, and I go, ace of clubs is the upper one, ace of spades is the lower one. And then they go, wait, what? They freak out, you can relax, drop on the table if you have a table, or just they hang out right here. And then they freak out, they turn it over. You can deal, do this in the spectator's hand, which makes it cool. And, and to make sure they don't turn it over prematurely, you can say, I'm gonna use your hand as a table, a little impromptu table. So then they know to keep it as a table for the performance trick and they don't turn it over prematurely. So then they do that, and then they can turn over and they go, whoa, cool. And then they maybe ask, scream for a repeat, or you say, I wanna do something even more special. They don't ask for a repeat. So you're, so you're playing off this scenario to either case. At this point, now we're gonna do the uh, fifth peel and Beezer switch by Ed Marlowe, popularized in John Bannon's book, Dear Mr. Fantasy at the near the beginning of the book in the section of bullet train i believe it's for the first or second effect of the effect bullet train wow memory so easy to recall when you're <laughs> i have selectively good memory i know it's, it's crazy so we get a, a break below the bottom two cards okay you don't have to have read the book dear mr fantasy but i highly 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 What's the, ever the highest amount of recommendation you can give it? I would give it that. It's one of the most important books there is. It's just so great. Even in most John Bannon's most recent lectures, side note, so you don't have to necessarily buy all of his stuff, I encourage it, but like I looked at his most recent lecture and his most recent lecture was literally just material from that book. I'm laughing, I'm like, of all the material he's published, Dear Mr. Fantasy is where all of his recent, most of his recent material came from. I'm like, okay, that must be a really dang good book that he's only doing that stuff. <laughs> all right, so enough side stuff. We get a break below two, one, two. Take the two, the, uh, and we set all four aces right here, leaving out jog, and say, what do you like, red or black? And you can do this. And don't worry about too much about the break. You don't care, they don't care. So they choose, let's say, red aces, great. Now we square everything up, and we're gonna peel it off with the thumb, middle finger and thumb are right here. Thumb is gonna peel it off. Jack's on bottom right here. So uh, we pull off the ace, and the jacks go with it, and they square as one. So the, I'm gonna flash first, and then we'll do an action. So uh, you pull off with the thumb, as you pull off the jacks from the bottom go with it, the head break under go with it. So. 
and then you use your four fingers to go square, and then you turn, uh, instead of just doing it like this, I'm doing a uh, John Armstrong idea where you do this and then present it. So it seems like you're being inclusive to all angles, but you're also making it so it seems casual, no one really cares, and the only angle you have to worry about is from the side, really. From that side, but you know, you can tilt it, work to your angles, and you make it work. You can maybe tilt it down like this. Anyways, so we peel off the top one, have the jacks right behind it, we show it, good. And maintain the break, okay? And then I nearly lost it, so you have to make sure you work with it. But it's fast, it happens like this. Okay, we got the ace of hearts, and you do the same way, just add it to the top, ace of diamonds, okay? Now, there's two ways you can actually do this visa switch, okay? In this context, or last performance, I actually let the aces and the two jacks fall together, and then I get a break right here before the ace of spades, the, the ace of clubs, the ace of spades, and I square everything and do that. That's the way I did it there, but I feel that if you're uh, to make it even more fair, I should have done the, the actual visa switch correctly. So in this case, it should look like this. Breaks below. Pretty much the same. So uh, let's say they want the ace of heart, the red aces. I would actually stick them to the back first, like right here. And what I do is I take off the first ace, ace of spades, okay, ace of clubs, and then I add these ace of clubs and ace of spades to the back of the deck as I pull off the ace of diamonds and the ace of hearts without needing to do the little dishy square reaction. That. So you can literally just, again, I'll, I'll show it again because it's pretty cool. This is what I meant to do, but I'm blanking because I'm teaching 11 tricks that I haven't done in a while. So we're going with it. So ace of clubs, ace of spades are the first two, ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, and it looks like an actual motion. You've done it. I'll reference this switch later. And now you've got the switch. All the cards are already switched. And magicians will be mind blown. It fools them every time. From here, turn the packet over. It really is just four cards, two jacks, two aces, the ones that he chose. Turn the packet over, do an Elmsley count, normal Elmsley count. And by doing a normal Elmsley count, and the, tar the last card goes on top, uh, you'll notice that they're perfectly set up. And you can even say four cards, and only four cards. For anyone thinking you're using extra, you're not. Just don't flash these. Okay. And then uh, by doing this action, uh, it allows the second card to go to the back, allowing you to get an easy access to a break in case you're nervous when performing this. And you say, no hints like before, just stay focused and you'll do fine. You don't have to worry about flashing the bottom because, uh, you know, it's still an ace. So, ace of diamonds right there, deal it to the table. Okay, second one is the ace of, there you go, hearts, great. What is the top one, ace of hearts, lower one, ace of diamonds. They're, at the second, second time you're doing it, they're not even paying attention to these cards because they put all the focus here because they know they expect it to happen that if it happened once, it'll happen twice. The Ace of Hearts and Ace of Diamonds will be there, to which it does. But they're not expecting a sticking impact, and I say, but you wanna know why you don't play with Blackjack with the Magician? And then you take these two cards, and they go, why? These cards, we win every time. Blackjack, two Blackjacks. They freak out, you're awesome, everyone enjoys it. Thank you. And that is Dr. Daly's Blackjack 2.0.